続いては小竹太一さんから APK メリットルートと Android NDK の必要ない APK のメモリ検索とパッチツールについてご紹介をいただきます小竹さんはウェブアプリモバイルゲームアプリの脆弱性診断や内部ネットワークのペネトレーションテストを得意とされていますすでにいくつかの国際会議で講演経験を有しリバースエンジニアリングのギドラ実践ガイドなどを出版しています今回のテーマについて動画をいただいておりますご覧いただいている間もしご質問が上がれば後ほどご本人にお聞きいたしますそれでは早速動画をご覧ください Hi, thanks for watching my presentation. Today, I would like to talk about memory authentication tool. I have created a tool called ABK Mate. It's of particular interest to, to those of you who focus on security test or penetration test. I am Taish Kodaki from Japan, and I am security engineer at Akatsuki. Akatsuki is a game company that focuses on mobile games. Recently, I've been focusing on network pen, pen, pen testing and game security. Three years ago, I was a student staff member at CodeBlue, so I'm very excited to be able to present it today. I recently published two books in Japan. The first one is a future of a very famous Japanese magazine called WebDB Press. Where I write about web security tools. The second book is about reverse engineering with g i d r a Our book c o m e out earlier than the g i d r a book. Today's topic is security testing for mobile game app. I've created a useful tool for security testing, I'll share with you. Security testing of web applications and simple mobile apps can find the most p r o b l e m s by using a proxy tool to modify with request response to the server. However, mobile games often implement game logic and anti logic in their clients, and the client needs to take time to check it. It's more difficult than a simple m o d e app because of the perspective of reverse engineering. Some examples include the following items decrypting request response encryption, SSL panic bypass, root privilege detection bypass, memory modification. Today I'm going to discuss memory modification in depth. Memory modification is the easiest way to cheat in games. For Android games, there is a well known cheat tool called Game Garden. APK Merit is memory search and p a s s t h r o u g h for debuggable APK. It works without root and the Android NDK. It's implemented in g o r a n This is a mobile security testing tool. Akatsuki's internal security teams use it to perform security tests for mobile game apps. The following are the advantages of a b k m e d over other tools such as GameGuardian. a b k m e d Game does not require root privileges. Therefore, there is no need to bypass root detection. Game apps often detect root privileges. Also, it works with colorful CUI. There are no competing tools that work with CUI. Now, let's watch the demo video. This is how e p i c m e r i t is used to, for a game that can be cleared by tapping a million times. The find quant is used to find the value displayed in memory. If you find where the value in the memory, you can use the pass quant to change it.
From here, I will explain how to use Epic Emirate. First of all, let's start with how to install Epic Emirate. You can get the binary on GitHub. After downloading the binary, use GADKB command to push the binary to your Android device. Let's start with how to launch it. Use the run command to read files used by the target app. So Epic Emirate can only be used with apps that have the debugger attribute enabled. So Epic Emirate can only be used with apps that have the debugger attribute enabled. To enable the debugger attribute, Open the Android Manifest XML and add the following XML attribute to the application XML node. Using APK Util, you can change the APK to be backward with a single command. APK Util is another tool I created. APK Util is a useful utility for Android app security testing. Other useful features are taking snapshot move to connected PC, and designing the APK, checking Android Mahes XML when decode the APK. After running the last command, directory is automatically changes. So copy mate from data local TNP. Running mate launches an interactive prompt. Many soft ones are implemented in the interactive prompt, but there are three main ones. First, find commands that are specified in the value in memory. Second, filter command filter search result using the specified value. Third, patch command writes the specified value to the address found by the search. Here's the flow of memory modification. You the find command to search the value on the UI. If many results are displayed, Change the value on the UI to filter the result. When there are fewer results, you can modify the memory by using the patch command. Next, I will explain how the tool works. I'm going to show you how memory modification works now. On Linux basis OSIs, seed files are pressed and blocked to access process information. APK Merit use proc PID maps and proc PID map. Proc PID maps contains the memory map information. The memory map indicates which part of the memory the process specified by PID has permission to read and write to. The memory map looks like the following image. It contains a range of addresses, permissions, and process names. Using proc PID mem, it's possible to read the memory filled by the process specified by the PID. The memory can be read out by system calls such as open, read, and lseek. The memory map tells us where we can read and write. It used proc PID mem to read the memory and search for the target value. When the target value is found, it proc PID mem to patch the memory.
A big emirate is implemented in Goran. Next, I'm going to show you the benefit of using Goran to implement that run on Android. There are four benefits of using Goran to create through that run on Android. I will explain this in detail. First, easy to prepare F binary for ARM. Go compiler supports cross compilation. Good Go work environment variables and provided for specified the OS and CPU. Second, easy to invoke system calls. Goran has a Unix package that wraps the system calls nicely and makes it easy to invoke the system calls. Third, easy to find the target byte in large byte sequence quickly. A fast string search algorithm called the wrapping up is used inside byte index. Without implementing complex algorithms, I can quickly find data in the memory by simply using byte index. Fourth, easy to distribute binary by using GitHub Actions and Go Register. GitHub Actions and Go Register make it easy to develop its Goran. When an attack commit is uploaded, to GitHub. The build runs via GitHub Actions and Go Releaser automatically restarts the binary to GitHub releases. Summary If I can briefly summarize, APK made allows memory modification without bypassing root direction. But there is a need to change the APK to be debuggable. Goran is a useful language for building Android tools. I hope APK Mate will become the de facto standard for security testing. Well, this brings me to the end of my presentation. Please visit the GitHub repository and try it. Thank you for your attention.